Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for week ahead. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So, what do we have for Pisces? Stiff competition. You got some stiff competition here. There could be a fight. There could be an argument with the competition. You definitely have somebody that is fighting with you that is on the same level. This person is very stiff competition. 888. 888 is a card of change. It is a card of abundance. It is also, or an 88, not a card. It's a number of change. It's a number of abundance. It's a number of character. And it is a number of, it's time to write down. Right now, 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 now. Right now, you need to do something right now. So, hmm. you need to do something about this competition right now by the looks of things. There is going to be a change, though, because eights are about change. Ooh, you don't know your value. Hmm. Fantasy land. Somebody's in fantasy land. Hmm. That's Disneyland. Somebody is in fantasy land. They need to come out of fantasy land. It's time to move on right now. Step out into the real world. That's what this is. If fantasy land is for children. It's not for, I mean, yeah, I imagine adults go there too just to have a little bit of fantasy in their lives, but, uh, you know, it's uh, not real. It's all an illusion. So that's right around the corner, though. So that this is, I you could be dealing with somebody that's in fantasy land because this is, this is like the, them. That's, that's, that's them. That's, that's in their position. So I think that you are dealing with somebody that is in fantasy land. I feel as though uh, this person may want to fight with you or they fought with you in the past. I feel like you are in a, in an abundant position, you know, maybe you've got you you've uh, maybe you've increased your value in some way. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't know their value or they have uh, a self-image problem. But I feel like you have uh, experienced some sort of change in your life. And I feel like you know your value. But there's, I think you're dealing with somebody that is in fantasy land. I do. Ooh. Now, this is, this is like in your position. Okay. This is revenue going down, money going down. But this is abundance. This is this is a loss of money or something like that. Financial issues. Secret admirer. So you have a secret admirer. This is your position exactly. That's a change. So the you you have somebody that is admiring you. You see we got somebody here that is wearing a mask. You don't know who it is. You can't see who it is. You definitely have a secret admirer. Jackpot. Interesting, because we but in the future, in the future, this is a future position. You, you're going to be winning some sort of jackpot. Doesn't have to be a money jackpot. Consider this a metaphor. Okay. Maybe in the past you were struggling financially. Things are about to change for the better. Okay, I think your value is going to increase. I do. I think, and it could be your financial value. All right, I do believe you also have a secret admirer. There is somebody here as well that is in fantasy land. Hmm. What is this fantasy land card? What is this? Fan that's that's your that's somebody else. I don't think it's you. Even though typically water signs they they live in fantasy. It could be you. 
Um, there is some sort of win that is coming. There is a win. You are going to win. You're going to see an increase in, in some way. I feel like somebody has a gift for you as well. You may not you may not see it coming. You are going to win. Okay? There's a competition here. If you're worried about losing, I don't you're going to win. You are going to win this competition whatever it is. Maybe you don't know it. Maybe you've been in fantasy land. Maybe you don't think you're going to win. You are going to win whatever it is. Four of Swords reversed. Now I said, what is this fantasy land? The Four of Swords reversed is the death of a situation, a person or an idea. This is uh, thing, something may have ended badly. There could have been some poor, poor health, bad health. Somebody may have taken a break. They may have gone within. This is coming out of it. Sorry. This is coming out of it. It's waking up or not waking up. Four of Swords is extremely exhausted, fed up, tired, sick. I wonder if somebody is sick. They are giving up. They could be giving up. Somebody may be giving up. An illusion? Because fantasy land is an illusion. Somebody may be headed into something as well. Page of Cups reversed. Now the Page of Cups reversed is usually sad news. It's an unrequited love situation. It could be emotional shutdown, heartbreak, sadness, tears. This is some sort of loss, the Four of Swords, reverse. I wonder if we have somebody here that is sick, that is ill, or they just can't take it anymore. They can't take this illusion. There is some sort of illusion here. There is some sort of fantasy. There's some sort of make-believe, you know? But that is in the future. But this Page of Cups reverse, that is... Uh, a bubble burst. Somebody is getting their bubble burst. This is uh, a rejection. We have somebody here that is in a place of illusion that is um, not getting what they want. There's some sort of infatuation here. It's over. There's no going back. Perhaps, you know, somebody needs to accept that there's no going back. It's dead. Jackpot. Hmm. Secret admirer right in the middle. Somebody is hiding their face. Page of Wands reversed. These two pages reversed is bad news. It is. It's 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 uh, not good news. It is a setback. It's unwelcome news. Somebody is going to be getting some unwelcome news. That causes change. There could be a decrease in money for a minute due to the competition. But in the end, you're going to get some sort of payout. You're going to get some sort of money or something. Some sort of win comes from whatever this bad news is. There is bad news here with both of these pages reversed. There is, there's, there's some sort of confusion here. There's some sort of confusion. There's indecision. There is uh, 
victim mentality. We have uh, something that has failed to launch or is failing to launch. This is bad news. This is a bubble burst. Somebody getting their bubble burst may have something to do with money. Somebody is, I think it does have to do with money. Could also have to do with a partnership. May have to do with children as well. Somebody's about to get their bubble burst. We do have some bad news here. Definitely, 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 definitely. You're going to be receiving some bad news. Somebody may have been thinking that they were going to win. It feels like we have an unrequited love situation where there's no passion, there's no growth, there's no emotional fulfillment. And I think that you're dealing with somebody that is holding on. They're holding on and it's time to move on. It's time to move on. You're dealing with somebody that is highly, highly, highly competitive. I feel as though you have some sort of admirer, but I feel like you're trapped in a situation. I think you're in a situation that you need to get out of, but you can't get out of it. Maybe because of financial reasons, money reasons. Hangman reverse. And the hangman is your energy. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign as well. So uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it could be their moon, sun, rising, whatever. This is becoming clear. I feel like there's some. this is becoming enlightened. I feel like there's, there's some sort of uh, awakening here. Letting go. Somebody has been hanging on. They will not let go. And they need to let go. And you're probably waiting for them to let go. But the struggle is real. Somebody, I feel like there's somebody that is, is not letting go. They're not letting go. And I feel like you're, you're ready for them to let go. You're ready for them to let go. You're ready for them. You want them to let go. Or vice versa. Something like that. There could also be fighting over money. And I don't know where this, I just feel like there's money. There's money issues here. I feel like there's somebody here that is obsessed with control. They're hiding something. They're highly egotistical. They will not change. And they're struggling to let go. You're dealing with somebody that is in some sort of illusion. This is an unrequited love situation. And they just won't leave. They won't leave you alone or something like that. This could go vice versa. I feel like I feel like you are in a good place. I feel like you're in a good place mentally. But you may be struggling because this person won't let go, which is very interesting. Anyhow, um page of wands reverse. This is somebody that has a self-image problem that is uh sees themselves as a victim. I do think there is some sort of unwelcome news that is coming this week. You may have been in some, you may have been in some sort of fantasy land as well about this news. Maybe you were trying to think positive or, or the other, somebody is, somebody's been trying to be positive and trying to. Uh, thinking that something was going to get better, but I don't, I, I think there's chronic problems here. There's no coming back from it. It's dead. Whatever that means, it's dead. The dead end. With that four of swords reversed, this is, I feel like there's health issues here, and I think there's frustrations. I think there's some really frustrations. I think you've been pretending or, or somebody that you're dealing with is pretending. They're delusional. They're pretending that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. 
everything is not okay. I do believe that somebody is about to get their bubble burst. I do feel like, um, I feel like there could be some sort of fight. Something is about to go down. Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. Could be dealing with another Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like there's probably some sort of... I don't know. It feels like there's financial. There's financial problems. There's fighting over money or there's... There's... Um, a lack well there's there's abundance here this is a fight over money i do believe there's going to be a fight over money because it's all, this is all about money or stability or security we have somebody here that is money hungry this is this is a this is a green-eyed monster who uh is secretly holding on to something just for money or for security reasons Somebody doesn't know their value. They don't know their value. And maybe you don't know your value. Maybe you're allowing this person to hang on to you. There's definitely money problems here. There's no doubt about it. There is definitely some money issues here. Fighting over money this week. If you notice this big old castle right up here in that fantasy land card, this is very materialistic, wanting it to look beautiful, wanting it to, and maybe somebody is overspending. They're overspending, you know, they're overspending money to, uh, you know, make it look like a fantasy. And that's all it is. It's not real. It's definitely not real, okay? It's all an illusion. And I think there's, there's probably going to be a fight over money, okay? Um, wasting money. Somebody is wasting money. And I feel like there's going to be an argument over that money. The secret admirer card. I think we have somebody here that is hiding something. And maybe spending a lot of money and they're hiding it. That's what I think that secret. Because there's secrets here. And this person, somebody may also have a secret admirer that, you know, I feel like they, if they, I don't think it's really secret. It may be secret to the other person, you know, to the other, other person. There's definitely two people here, at least two people. I do feel like, um, somebody is struggling to let go. Of something that they have been holding on to. And they're holding on to it for financial reasons. And it is time to move on with that 888. That is right now. It is time to move on to stop this. You know, it's time to just let it go. But I do think there's going to be a fight this week. I do. And I do feel like there's going to be some sort of exposure. Okay, we have the Two of Swords reversed. That is some sort of something being exposed. I feel like the truth is going to be exposed. I feel like there's some sort of uh, information that is coming out that has been hidden. And it has to do with money or spending or something like that. There's also emotional detachment here. Somebody is detaching emotionally. They're no longer emotionally invested in this fantasy. There is a loss of abundance here, absolutely, with the Queen of Coins reversed. I feel like we have somebody here also that is very, very spendy. This person is very, very spendy. Uh, they Or they don't have a lot to offer. They don't have a lot, you know, they don't... Maybe they don't work enough or they don't have any money or something like that. And I feel like this person is about to experience some sort of loss. There's a loss of financial abundance here. And I think that's where the fight starts. I think there's going to be a fight over money. Somebody's been overspending the money. And we have an egotistical individual here that's probably going to get pissed off. So that's what I see. <laughs> that's what I see. I also see unfaithfulness here. There is some sort of unfaithfulness here. I feel like there is somebody in secret that has been hidden and it could get revealed this week because of this fight. I 
There could be an unplanned loss that causes that costs a lot of money. I'm just saying there could be an unplanned loss. There is a setback here. There definitely is a setback. We have somebody here that um, may consider their value, you know, their clothes, their house, you know, their things. When your value doesn't come from things, value comes from inside. This may be the wake up call. You know, wake up calls come in mysterious ways. I think we, we there's somebody here that is not uh, interested in a partnership that they're engaged with, but they are struggling to let go of it because of financial reasons. And I feel like this week there is probably going to be some sort of fight because of it. And that's what I got. Good luck.